All right, as everyone's jumping in, I I've got to ask Scott, the background, you've got Yellowstone National Park and Grand Teton, I uh, love that. I know, I'm a historian, so I know how that name came about. Yeah. But I'm I know, uh, I know I love that place. What's up, yeah. what's up with that, man? I want to so, know. So, so, so I have to give credit to um, a few folks in my organization, Robert Sagers, as well as um, uh, Ryan Anderson. So this summer, I took an amazing trip um, out to Wyoming and Montana. Um, and Grand Teton and Yellowstone, obviously, are both in Wyoming. Fantastic parks. So these are, these are basically called a National Park Coasters. So I'll, I'll try to go a little bit higher there. Oh. So they basically give you um, uh, a, a real memory, if you would, of the trips that you took out there. Sorry, adjust my camera back. But uh, so those are two parks we got to this, national parks we got to this summer. So um, I was able to get these commem commemorative posters as an interesting background. So, Dude, that's crazy. I love yeah. that. Yeah. And of course, so we've got Jason. What's up, Jason? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? It's been a minute. Good. Good. We were we were lightly joking about his cool look with the dark beard on the top. I was like, dude, that looks like Wolverine. I'm not gonna joke. Like that's. Yeah. that's I actually just saw the uh, preview uh, the, for uh, Deadpool where he's in there. I'm a big Wolverine fan too, so I'm okay with that. I'll take that as a compliment. No, I I, I went on a we went on an eight day cruise, family cruise, in uh, over Christmas or December, and I said, you know what, I don't want to shave. That's how it started, and. Uh, <laughs> and then I got to, when the cruise was over, I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't look terrible here. You know, I could probably clean it up a little bit. And I said, yeah. but I don't know how long it'll last, but so far I'm digging it. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> so, so, Tristan, I, I timed it. I'm saving five minutes every single morning for five days a week. That's 25 minutes a, a, a week I'm saving. That's about 20 hours a year I've just brought back into my life. That's half a work week, but just, you know with a little salt pepper i like that's that. that's awesome like mm -hmm. look besides having an amazing beard you also have success in real estate and i've known you for a while you ask great questions i remember you from way back you've always had the deeper you've always asked the deeper questions and so i see that in your success too so this is why i'm excited to hear how are you optimizing your website here and and what website are you choosing to optimize so I, I use, uh, I mean, my personal website's grhomes.net, not .com, .net. Uh, and uh, I've been with Sierra. We switched from our, our company-provided platform is what I used to use at my previous brokerage. And um, it was Black Friday of 2018 when, when we uh, launched our site. I, I remember it was Black Friday, so I figured if we're going to screw everything up, that'd be a good day to screw it up. That's and cool. um and so that's that's when I launched it. Uh, so it just worked for the company platform. Just having some issues there, and I wanted to own my own technology. That was the next step of my career was buying my own technology. Uh, what I did is when I was looking at all the platforms out there, I kind of treated it like purchasing a house. I had my must-haves category for must-haves, then a category for wants, and I test drove. I bet I test drove ten different CRM website combinations, and uh, CR one. Uh, I'll say one other thing also, I do audit all my technology every year. So I do check, uh, I, I I will go through a similar practice every single year and uh, I'm still with Sierra. This is there the one. Is. Perfect. That's it. That's me. I love that, man. That's me without a beard. That's what I used to look like. Wait, who is this guy? <laughs> this, is, this must be the wrong guest. Uh, <laughs> but dude, I love the flow of this, man. This is good. I, I want to talk really quick because here at the top. Further. I'm going to show you important parts here. Oh, Scroll yeah, down here. We're going to talk about SEO. So first of all, I put all my radio commercials on there. I like to have another uh, lead capture for finding your home value. I do advertise. These are local radio guys. Uh, uh, free beer and hot wings are in the, the morning uh, shock jocks and do a great job. Scroll down a little further there, but I'm going to talk about SEO. Look at this right there. Look at all these links. All these links. Mm. Keep, 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 keep going, going down and there's more links. Holy cow, man. SEO and this hack. is on your you main that's my main page. That's right on the front there, of course, with our blogs. But uh, all those links for all those different searches right there, that's huge for SEO. That is yeah, which, which, yeah, as we get into this, right, let's talk a little bit about this. Is like We like to say that the Sierra Interactive websites are SEO ready, right? 
Um, when you, you don't get SEO, you don't buy SEO straight out of a box, right? You have to create SEO. So, you know, what Jason just showed you there is, is the way that he um, enhances and to really creates this SEO, the search engine optimization, so he can organically get leads being brought to his website. Yeah, I like that. That actually makes a lot of sense once I flow through to the bottom of that, Jason. I love how you put it at the bottom too, because the top looks really beautiful, especially if I'm on mobile, right? Mm -hmm. That goes through pretty well. And not a lot of people go to the bottom, which is a great use for the bottom, which I hadn't thought of. So I just wrote that down. I'm like, okay, look at Jason's website again. Look at me. Uh, let me, by the way, let me put the link to your website so people can take a look too. Uh, let me grab this. Well, right. so just if I'm taking that in there, uh, I, I just want to piggyback. That's kind of like uh, you know, if I get a gym mem gym membership, I don't get in shape because I got a gym membership. But you actually have to go. You actually have to do the work. And that's no different about with your website. Uh, you know, you're, you're going to want, and that's why I use Sierra. Uh, but you're going to want an SEO friendly website. But but just having the website is a work. I actually have to put work into it and keep doing work, or else it gets out of shape. Just like if you stop going to the gym. Let's talk about that work. What does that look like as far as the daily or weekly or monthly work that you put into this? What, I, what I'll do, this is a practice I used to do and I got lazy on it. I got back into it and I've been pretty consistent for the, for the last couple of months is I do a lot of blogging. Now, uh, I'll be vulnerable here, Tristan. I do have some issues with some ADD, ADHD, and I'm not just not a very good writer. Uh, it comes back to not that I didn't have the ideas, it just it was that's not my strength. And boy, did AI fix my life uh, last year. So, uh, <laughs> I yeah. So, uh, what I'll do is uh, I use Jasper for my AI. I know, I know that's that's what I like, uh, Jasper, their paid version. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask it to write an SEO friendly blog about a different community. I'll blog about the listings, uh, celebrity listings. If you follow me, I'm always posting celebrity listings. Boy, if you want cheap hits on your website, um, I just posted about Barbara Walters' uh, condo, uh, Manhattan condo. I got a ton of traffic that day. I posted uh, an image of Barbara Walters, and then they go to the website, and it's me talking about the condo, and then another link to realtor.com where you can actually see her condo. I don't want to take the pictures. Uh, of the listing, but uh, that if you want cheap hits, that's what I do about it. Just keep, keep blogging. And one of the cool things about Sierra, and I don't think it's really ever talked about, is that you can actually schedule your blogs. Mm -hmm. So I have blogs written coming out every single day right now. I just looked at to the 18th. I was about to write five more blogs. And uh, when I do it with Jasper, I have it down to, oh, it's only taking me nine minutes now to write a blog. And most of that time is editing an image. All right, so here we are. This section. So I wrote that that blog about I love the last group of EXP that I wrote that uh, 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 that, that Barbara Walters one was the huge one. Uh, but I wrote uh, I wrote that I don't know I think I wrote these all about two weeks ago, Sunday. I love this man. This is great, and I love the idea here. Now you're you're thinking very creatively. You know who else does this? Uh, Realtor.com does this well on their Instagram, where they always bring up celebrity. And they show you the home they bought or they own or they sold, right? And it creates so much traction to traffic. And that's what it's about, right? It's getting that traffic and then you deciding what you're going to do with it based on what your site looks like. So I love that. That's well, really and here's even a bigger point on this. The backlink to realtor.com to reference the pictures, it's two real estate sites talking together that are valid and valid. And that does amazing work for Jason's SEO as well. Um, so that's a huge, super important little point I didn't want you, anyone to miss. That's good. Here's a question I don't know the answer to. Christopher is asking, the crawlers don't weigh keywords at the bottom of the page or uh, the top of the page, question mark? No, there's no, there's no difference between a top or a bottom. I think Jason did it from an aesthetics perspective to your point, Tristan, the fact that he wanted to kind of move that stuff to the bottom and make the top look really sexy and clean. Um, yep. But you can also do it inside the site. And there's no reason why you cannot go deep with um, community pages and neighborhoods and specific details and local restaurants. You know, that stuff is all within the indexing, you know, of the site and it can accomplish the same purpose. 
Got it. You click so on then, one of my blogs, you're gonna you're actually gonna see a ton of links in there. All right, let me do that live so we can take a look at this together. And yeah, as you click, through, yeah, as you click through that, um, Tristan. I mean, it's all about putting that initial, that original content out there, and and then being able to, um, you know, have people click deeper, request information, read more. All of those are are key. All right, let's take a look at this one. Magic. Well, I have this structured a, a certain way again. I like to leverage my radio ads uh, right there. Perfect. And then uh, below that is this. This is all AI. I, I'll, I'll skim okay. through it. You got to be. You just still got to watch it. Uh, and the reason being, so you know, sometimes I might talk about you know public transportation or something like that. This looks better in gallery. If you want to go ahead and click gallery, I, I was, the whole point of this is now underneath it is here's all the listings uh, in that community. Nice. Uh, along with the home value tool there. And if you keep scrolling down, now those are all links, of course. I don't know how much that is for SEO. We do get a little weighty list. So if you don't see what you like, and then boom, here, here's a, all, a bunch more links. And you have that on every single blog, all of this? All my blogs will look that way. Dang, that's good, man. That's really good. How long did it take you to create each one of these pages? Is it pretty fast with Sierra? To practice, I'm good at it now. I can probably get it done in, in, in less than 10 minutes. Um, it, it's But a lot of this is also because I can get a little crazy and I can go down a rabbit hole when I start giving me technology tools. So, um, but I, I can probably create this page in less than 10 minutes now. This is really good, Jason, because if, I, if I'm talking to a new lead that comes through, let's say for, what did I click on? Big Rapids. Then I can say, hey, I've got a link for you. I'll just send it over to you. And then boom, now that they get everything in Big Rapids, they have 44 listed, average days on market, average square foot. This is really good. This is really quick so, info. I love when they did uh, the the price jumps, uh, when they uh, when uh, Sierra added that uh, probably about a year or so ago. I, I did see a lot of change there. So what's what's kind of cool is so if you just want to do, hey, type in, do the 200 to 300, if you want to click on that for me. Right there. Yeah. So another thing what you can do here is you can actually just promote this list. If you want to get really hype, we're going to talk about getting hyper local, but here's all the homes just between 200 and 300. So you can really dial it down that way. Uh, one mistake that I did make though, is I used to get too detailed into the price gaps and that area was like half the page. So cosmetically, I didn't bring that down. All right. So let's talk about this then really quick, because if I'm looking at this, we're, we're looking at this organically, but now if I can use all of these different price points and now start creating Facebook lead ads or if I run Google PPC ads for different price points through Sierra, tell me about the paid uh, version of this. What, 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 is, what opportunities do we have with that? You wanna go well, Scott or you want me to- Yeah, no, I, I could take a little bit of that one. So, so first of all, um, you know, when you have people registering on your site and you've gotten them through your, say, organic search, um, you can use Facebook and Sierra can do this for you to retarget and remarket to these people. And to your point, Tristan, you can do this by the specific price points. And so um, when they're getting the ads served up to them, the, they're, the, the dare type of ads where they're the dynamic to that person's price point, right? And that's what you want them to do. Yeah. They come to your site, they landed the first time, um, they're going to be looking at other sites. We all know they go to other places as well, but we want them to come back to your site. And so by running a retargeting and remarketing campaign, it does drive them back to your site to look at additional homes. So that's part of that equation. The other part of the equation is, yes, organically, you can run SEM, which is search engine marketing, to initially try to build your traffic to your site um, as your SEO is building, right? So as you're writing your blogs, as you're building up these pages, you know, you won't get an instant, you know, gratification of these free leads coming to your, to your site. So we like to enhance that with the paid uh, service. And, and Sierra's is really reasonable. Uh, we only charge a 10% marketing fee um, and there's only a $500 minimum on your ad spend. So just kind of give you guys a feel for that. Okay. I like that, man. Jason, lead capture. What does that look like? for anything you're doing on the organic side, if you have that turned on or whatever you have there. And then on the- 
So our, our, on organic side, pretty much what you've seen right there, it's just when you start Googling stuff here, you're, you're, you're going to find my page. This is organically searching there. Now, what, one thing I've done differently with my page is I like to really get heavy into really hyper local. See, I, okay. I, I, I can't, at the end of the day, I don't have the budget to compete with Zillow. I just don't. And then I'm not going to try to, or the, or the big ones out there, or white Lope or whatnot. But what they don't know about is they don't know about the boardwalk condos. They don't know about Bailey's Grove or the Celadon. They don't know about these little tiny neighborhoods out there, whether they're not even, they're even tiny. They don't know about the neighborhoods. They know, like, hey, best real estate agent in insert zip code or city name. And I say that with no disrespect, but that's just to my understanding how a lot of these platforms are. So I really want to really do both organically blog about uh, these local communities. And at the same time, I do pay-per-click where, you know, Bailey's Grove Homes for Sale, the Bailey's Grove Real Estate Agent, the same things there, but I'm inserting the neighborhood. What I found was my clients, I had buyers that were falling in love with neighborhoods, and they would just stalk the heck out of that neighborhood, just drive around the neighborhood looking for for sale signs, keep Googling it, keep Googling it. And I... I well, I want to control the internet traffic in those areas. I can actually walk into listing appointments in those areas and say, "Look, everybody's going to be on the real estate on, on the on the internet because that's what all the sales pitches are." I actually control yeah. the internet, and you can show like yeah, Google Bailey's Grove Homes for Sale. There I am. I'm number one. <laughs> it's, it's I have leveraged it also for listings. Well, I'm looking at your site, and I love that. I'm looking at your site, and there's a section that I didn't touch on earlier. If I go over to communities and you have all of these communities and it feels like it keeps going. It sure all does, doesn't of... it? Yeah, I haven't touched I haven't touched that tab in a while there. But yes, that, that's what I'm looking for. Is I, I really want to get that out there. I love that, man, because that all creates all of these other opportunities through Google as well on the SEO side. Yeah, and, exactly. and taking that to the next level go back to one. So let's just say Cedar Springs, right? Cedar Springs is a, is a city, I'm presuming, right, Jason? And, and, and what you could do is let's say there was five or six sections of Cedar Springs. You could break this down even further and have it be like, you know, it's the Lake mm -hmm. View version of Cedar Springs. There's this, this section, right? And, and, and that's the hyper-local detail, like Jason was speaking to earlier, where you're not going to find that on a national portal site. I see what you're saying. Got it. That actually a lot, we have a lot. Great. We have a lot of lakes in our market. So I have a lot of searches. I also like to, I, I say own, but I like to really, I have all the keywords in searches set up for a lot of lakes because people will say, hey, I want to move to Gun Lake or they want to be on Lake Michigan. So I, I have a lot of custom searches and uh, a lot of those keywords too. That's awesome, man. I love that. I didn't know about that feature specifically. I've got some questions for you though. Josh, what's up, Josh? What tools do you use to measure SEO growth on key phrases? Do you have target phrases in SEO that you prioritize when doing the edits or on site blog, anything like that? Um. What I really manage, I, what I pay attention to is I, I just look at the overall analytics on the backside of uh, Sierra. So I, I just, I was actually just talking to Scott before we went on here. So uh, about some of that. So I think I focus on that. Uh, I've done a lot of calls with Google and uh, with no respect to them. Every time I take their advice, my cost per lead goes up. So I just do it my way. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that. So if you call Google, they'll tell you I'm doing it wrong. But so I, I don't take keywords away. I don't take phrases away. Uh, it, it, the one, it, the, I will tell you, I got neg a good negative keyword is Depot because I don't want, I was getting a lot of clicks for Home Depot. So mm -hmm. make sure you, I did remove that one. I do do, for, uh, not foreclosures, but a lot of rent to own. Anything that has to do with leasing because that's not really my market. So I have a lot of that stuff as negative keywords. Uh, but from there, I don't pay much attention uh, to how much each word or each phrase gets. And uh, I do log in from time to time, and I don't manage as much as I probably should. Uh, but if, if something's not getting any clicks, it, I, I know that affects my relevancy score, which I'm sure not, still not sure what that means. But uh, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's not costing me any money. Uh, Google will tell you to get rid of it uh, because, it, like I said, affects that. But for me, I say, hey, if it doesn't get any clicks on it, it didn't cost me any money. What harm is it doing? I agree with you on that. I agree. Yeah. Uh and, and and I was going to put out there that 
you know, when you do digital advertising through Sierra, um, you do have an extensive back, you know, an extensive back end that lists all the keyword phrases that Sierra is helping you hyper locally bid on. And, and we show you what your conversions are, your cost per click, the cost per conversion is really kind of the next phase up to that, right? Which would be if you actually got a, a buyer or seller that converted from that. Um, yeah. But this way you can make some informed decisions of to what you want to spend in or not spend in. Quick example, you could say homes for sale in Atlanta, or you can say Atlanta homes for sale. And one of them might cost you $12, $15 per click. The other one might cost you $8 per click. And you may sure. have gotten 43 from one and, and 39 from the other. And you might say, you know what? I would rather just revert, you know, keep my money in the cheaper one because my conversion is just such a small differential that I want to keep spending. So that's a little bit of the tools that Sierra can help you with um, if you do that digital advertising through us. I love that. Great, great, great. Answer. So I'm going to step on you real quick, but I want to keep on this here. So I actually try to keep all my clicks under 30 cents a click. Um, if there's a reason why I want a bunch of clicks, like I have a listing appointment, I can jack it up to the front of the first page. But I try to keep it down as far as I can. Uh, I have over 40 campaigns going right now. I'm looking at my numbers over 2,000 keywords, 2,000. Dang. So, and so, but if I got them all set for 25 cents a click, majority aren't going to work. But maybe I'll get a one click on this keyword, two clicks on this keyword. I tell people I'm looking at all the, I'm not trying to eat the whole sandwich. I just want all the crumbs and I'll make my own sandwich. Great. That's funny. I love that, man. That's a great way of looking at it. <laughs> I, I'm looking at Cedar Springs. I want to share my screen because I thought it was kind of cool. So my market is our culture. We kind of identify by school district. Um, okay. So Cedar Springs is a, is a city, uh, but it's also a monster school district that covers actually in several different communities. So uh, that search, you probably, I'm not seeing what you're looking at. I share your screen, but I'm assuming that's probably Cedar Springs school district. I am going to let me see where it where it went because I, I thought this was really cool uh, finding out. I did this while you were where you guys were talking, and I thought, let's see what pops up. So I got I went to the Cedar Springs site that we were on before with the featured communities, right? Sierra I Sierra wrote that right there. That's a Sierra thing. Uh, that nice. page, they made this page when I first signed up for Sierra. They make so I can't remember what it is, but they make so many pages, and this is actually this is, was one of their pages. Well, that's yeah. what I wanted to Wire add. included, yeah. <clears throat> because Scott, typically how people search for for homes, that's the that one, right? That phrase, and then that phrase. So I grabbed the second phrase, and I put it into Google to see what would pop up. Obviously, you have the your competitors, right, up here. But then if I scroll down, not even too far, still on the first page, uh, there's Jason, right? And so that was awesome. Cedar Springs Homes for Sale. And then I'd go in on here and it'd take me to this page. So I love that. So by the way, the, your location will impact where you're ranking. So if, if you were in, this is where Tristan in California were Googling it, that's why that reply that has a lot to do with it. If you're in Denver Googling, you might be at a different location, different spot. True. But well, I'm impressed that I'm in California and you're still there, dude. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And and along the lines of going back here and going to your blog, right? Let's go to, where would I go Jason's to find Jason's jargon. Jason's jargon is my blog. Tips and updates. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right. If I'm going here and I'm trying to get ideas, um, we use we use Answer the Public. So I just typed in living in Cedar Springs. And it gives us so many ideas on what, what else we can type in based on what's being searched, right? Right. The darker the better. Uh, but dude, this, this is just, you're, you're making me happy because I know that we can do a lot more with what we have. And so I'm just excited to put in some of these things into play. Love it. I love that. Yeah, great. You taking that and, and I wrote that down. So thank you very much for answering the public. So uh, you can do, put that, put those keywords into uh, Jasper chat GPT, tell it to write an SEO friendly blog and you're done. That's it, man. As opposed to back in the day, I would have to either pay somebody 50 bucks an hour, uh, a VA that knows nothing about Cedar Springs, and we'll talk about the rail system in Cedar Springs, which it doesn't have, or I could spend two hours writing maybe a misspelled blog. That's it. And look, um, on that, because you and I 
you and I are thinking in the same way. If we go back to this page and then we take a look at key indicators highly searched, right? The dark green, oops, dark green. And I go here and I find whatever is the dark green, right? That one, living in Cedar, Cedar Springs or that one. I can expand these, but you see over here is like R, can, how, right? What, they break them up into those. And now I can go back to your site and here, and I can instruct my VA, my admin, whoever to go into Jasper and be like, you're gonna write it on this because these are the keywords. And now uh, it starts becoming even more sexy to use Scott's word. So there you go. I love yeah, that. So, so wow, that, that, that answer the public is almost like the whole do a Google search and look at the questions that people are, are asking, yep. right? Um, below your actual search, you may also want to know where they might also look like, it almost seems like it's taking that on steroids and breaking it down. So yeah, you're, crazy. you're so right, man. Let me, and let me go back to that because you brought up a good point. If I'm going into, um, let me grab the, the phrase, the keyword, and then I'll go and share my screen to take people through this. That is a really good point, Scott. Here, I'm grabbing what Sierra created, Cedar Springs Homes for Sale. Let's just put it at the top there. And now I'm going to scroll down and go to the section where it says people also ask. Mm -hmm. Right now, I can also use that and dump it into Jasper or have my team work on it more. Um, but look, there's also a, a Cedar Springs and Palm Springs, I guess. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the Michigan one's more um, more relevant today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but I love with that. With that being said, I'm, I'm going to bring something else up, up there, Tristan, because you're talking about locations. When I first started this, I wound up getting a bunch of leads in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, uh, which I'm sure mm -hmm. is a beautiful city, but I have nothing I can help out with. Uh, I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So you you can actually dive into locations uh, in Google that have to be running in uh, ads only in certain areas. And mm -hmm. I said that, I said Google, my phone's going off now. So sorry, <laughs> my phone's listening to us. The other thing what I could do, Tristan, which I found, which is another way, great way for cheap leads is you can exclude areas. So in my more higher price, we'll call them luxury markets in my area, I will exclude my county, but include around 200 miles around my county. So that's gonna get me people in Chicago that are Googling homes for sale in these areas or Detroit or whatnot. So. Obviously, what I'm doing there is I'm going after relocation people coming to my market looking in the higher areas. All right. Now you give me another idea. Hold on. That's Let's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. That's that was worth the price of admission right there. Hold on. Let's let's have some fun. Uh I'm on Redfin. Jason, what's the main city you cover? Big city. Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. All right. So this is what we do. Now I'm going to be using this with Sierra. Um, we go to Market Insights, top right, and then we scroll down to the bottom, and then we take a look at who's moving to Grand Rapids. And then we scroll down, and we're like, you were right on. See, Chicago, Detroit. Now we know who to target. We can go to Sierra and be like, hey, can you start creating ads in Chicago, Detroit? Well, those probably are the main two, because the rest are a little lower right? And then where are they moving to? Find a great agent out there. Where, where are people leaving from our graphics for? So Cape Coral, Sarasota. But anyway, that- the Referral partner, right? You're talking about yes. having a referral partner. Referral mm -hmm. partners. You just brought brought that up. You made me think about that. But dude, Chicago and Detroit. I love that. I, I, once upon a team, I ran a team in uh, time. I ran a team in Florida and we do, I ran a lot of ads on the East Coast people moving to florida if anybody is watching this in florida run ads on the east coast for people moving to your area trust me in texas or california too i guess i guess everybody from california is moving to florida too yeah that's true i love the excluding areas man that's brilliant mm -hmm. i do that i just wrote that down all right jason anything that you're working on this year that you're excited about that you didn't talk about when it comes to website, i want to dive more into blogging uh i I I just I ran one YouTube channel, one for real estate. It was it, it was all my videos went on one channel. I just separated that, where I have one for more of a coaching and real estate tips, and one for personal. I never thought about 
man, I just had everything in one place, but I wanted two YouTube channels. So uh, I'm working right now, really growing the YouTube channels because uh, now that since I separated them, now I have very little content. Uh, I'm dabbling in a podcast, but uh, I'll be honest, Tristan, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm playing around with that. <laughs> I don't think we, any of us know what we're doing anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> but Jason, you, Jason, you're also you're also starting to coach some people on doing SEO work too, right? I mean, yep. yep. So talk a little bit about yep. that too. Yeah, no, I, I, so I, I, I'm a coach at, uh, at, with uh, with Club Wealth. I'm a, I'm a tier four coach and. Uh, um, just, I know you go way back with Michael and us, and, uh, and uh, that's one of the things I do coach on is, uh, is people come to me when they, we all have our specialties, and my specialties is lead generation. That's one of my uh, in automation. Well, you're great at it, man, so it makes sense. Lead gen. And I love that you split your YouTube channel into two, or you're starting to, one yeah. for the consumer and one for agent attraction. So I love that. Mm -hmm. Great job. AJ and all right. Yep. We put up the link if you're interested in Sierra. There it is. Jake put it up there. Thanks, Jake. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I, I love where we're going with these webinars because I feel like each one of these is like a, a deep dive into somebody's business that we can break down and say we can apply that into our own business. So, Jason, thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. I want to add one more thing here, just one more thing about Sierra. So it's how I came about Sierra when I was looking at everything here, uh, and this is one of the directions I wanted to go because I knew this is when pay-per-click was really starting to get really sexy. You know, 2017, 2018 is when people started diving in. And I was looking at all these services that would charge us to do the pay-per-click. And I know Sierra does have a little bit of an art charge too, which is fine. And I, and I respect that. And that's where it came from. It's like, well, how do I just do it myself and not pay that charge? So think about what I'm doing here, Tristan, here is I'm doing a pay-per-click campaign, doing social media retargeting, using Sierra's AI, and I don't have to pay a platform fee. Mm. Just, your, just your web costs, just your website hosting. Um, yeah, I'm saving a lot of money with that, with doing something very similar there. And I know we got some more AI and stuff, stuff we're working on here, but it really wasn't that hard. I love that, man. That You should have started with that, Jason. Why'd you leave that to the end? <laughs> I had to wait for my 17th cup of coffee to kick in. I love it. That's so good. Well, thanks, everybody. Appreciate that. Jason, what areas do you cover? Like, we don't know already, um, but what areas? Yeah, no, we, I, I'm based out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, we, we cover about a third to half of the lower peninsula of Michigan. So I'll do the Michigan thing where I hold a hand up, you know. Uh, I've even taken listings in Detroit and up in the west Michigan. anyway i screwed that up so uh but uh but we can i'm based in grand rapids michigan any and if you need uh help anywhere in michigan reach out i know agents all over the state i'm, I'm happy to say hey call my friend bob over there he's got you so is anything michigan just reach out to me i got you thank you and how do people get a hold of you if they have questions uh, you can uh connect with social media is a great way I, i'm always on facebook facebook messenger is a great way uh, Trish and I were talking earlier for a minute earlier on Facebook Messenger. That's a great way. Uh, website's grhomes.net. You can always check me out there. Uh, email me at jason.lash at grhomes.net. My cell phone number is 616-821-1350. 616-821-1350. Just Google me. You'll find me. I put up your website one more time there for everybody. And Scott, Thanks, if people have questions for you. Do they just go directly through Sierra or? Yeah, the best best thing to do is to get with one of our teams. We did put the link in there. Um, you can go ahead and schedule a demo with us and, and you know, just be able to ask any questions about digital advertising or about the platform itself. And uh, one of our account executives would be more than happy to spend some quality time answering all those questions. Awesome. Well, everybody, thank you for joining us again. We appreciate you. Scott, Jason, have an awesome day. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.